In this project, I work in collaborations with my PhD supervisors, Barrett Enns, Tobias Sauderna, Maxim Cordell, and Bernard Yeni. We explore quantitative data visualization on virtual globes and propose a new design named GeoBurst. Quantitative data visualization on virtual globes is intuitive and widespread. Visual primitives such as 3D bars and circles represent geographical points. Quantitative values are encoded to the length of the bar and the area of the circle. In our study, we look at the directions along which visual primitives are aligned on the surface of the globe. These are normal vectors on the globe. Aligning 3D bars along the normal vectors creates normal bar visualization idiom. The other vector directions on the surface of the globe are tangent vectors. In this particular example, all tangent vectors are facing the North Pole. Aligning circles and bars along the tangent vectors produces tangential circles and tangential bar visualization idioms. The tangential circles idiom uses spherical cap area as visual channel. The tangential bars idiom uses art lengths. We could also use billboard factors that always point to the viewers regardless the globe rotation. Billboarded circles and billboarded bars are two visualization idioms using billboard factor directions. We conducted a user study to evaluate these five globe visualization idioms. The results of our study suggest that the accuracy of length proportional visualizations is not affected by the directions of visual primitives. We did not find differences in accuracy among normal bars, billboarded bars, and tangential bars idioms. However, for area proportional visualizations, billboarded circles are more accurate than tangential circles. Overall, all length proportional visualizations are the most accurate. Billboarded circles are less accurate while tangential circles are the least accurate. When we compare normal bars idiom with other length proportional visualizations, we did not find any differences in accuracy despite the perceptual shrinking of normal bars. This could be attributed to the fact that rotatable globe allows readers to align bars on the horizon for easier comparison. Our study participants were more confident with normal bars and prefer their aesthetics. Finally, the study results suggest that tangential orientations of the visual primitives increases readers' perceived mental load. This could be attributed to the fact that it is very difficult to rotate the globe such that the values to be compared are not distorted. Here we explore a new visualization combining three ideas. First, our study participants commented that they align normal bars along the horizons for easier reading. An improved visualization, therefore, would align the bars along the horizons. Second, we want to minimize the occlusion among bars. And third, we also want to include bars located on the hidden hemisphere. These three ideas resulted in geoburst. We use the composite visualization approach by wrapping radial bar charts along the globe. GeoBurst shows quantitative values on the radial bar charts and links them to their geospatial positions on the globe. We indicate values on the hidden hemisphere as faded out bars. We can also add tangential circles onto the globe. There are many design possibilities around the GeoBurst visualizations. We created a demo visualization that allows expert users to customize GeoBurst properties. For example, the link properties and radial bar chart size and thickness. Users can interact in different ways with GeoBurst. For example, using tooltips, freezing links to select and highlight data points, removing selected links, automatically rotating the globe, and zooming. We receive positive feedback and gain a glimpse of preferred GeoBurst properties from expert users. We envision future research exploring the combination of radial bar chart and physical globe in augmented reality. Refer to our paper or visit the project's webpage for more detailed information.